Werner Philander had incredible success in his first few months of Test cricket. He broke the 50 wicket barrier in only seven Test matches. With Dale Steyn having the pace, Mone Moko having the pace and bounce, South Africa now had a metronome with control to keep the pressure on the batsman. Philander wasn't blessed with high or immense pace. The one attribute he could rely on was control and movement. Fortunately, he had this in abundance. Philander could bowl an attacking length in the corridor around off stump whilst trying up the runs. What made him difficult to play was his seam position and nip off the pitch. Although he didn't have express pace, he always seemed to rush the batsman with a bit of movement. Movement is a key word with Philander. He didn't have extravagant movement, but he had enough to always kiss the edge. Whenever Philander was bowling, the batsman always seemed to be trapped on the crease. Here's an example of Philander's pitch map. I was unable to find out which specific test it was from, but what it does highlight is how he constantly and consistently keeps the pressure on the batsman by hitting a good length. Bowling predominantly in South Africa allowed him to venture on a good and short length due to the bouncy natures of the pitches that are particularly produced. Another example here is his bowling against Virat Kohli in 2017. In this pitch map, you can see how he bowls to the plan of bowling outside of stump to Kohli. The line is pretty much the same, but occasionally he changes the length. As he works Kohli across off stump, he bowls a wicket taking delivery closer to off stump. This is an example of his exemplary control and skills to bowl to a plan. One last example is an innings where he bowled against the West Indies. You can see the line of the delivery is consistent and the cluster of dot balls indicates how he ties the batsman down and works in partnership with his fellow bowlers. A look at his career stats shows what a top bowler he was. At home he averaged 19 with the ball with 146 wickets. He's second on the all-time list for averages with the cutoff of a minimum 100 test wickets when bowling at home. His control and movement were amplified by his use of the new ball. Since January 2002 with a minimum 300 overs bowled, he has the best bowling average in the first 10 overs of an innings. In all, he took 224 test wickets at 22 with 13 5 wicket hauls and 2 10 wicket hauls. Although his style of bowling was not suited to the conditions in the subcontinent, he did however provide control and formed a partnership with the likes of Dale Steyn to use their extra pace to produce wickets. It's also worth noting that Philander had a career batting average of 24 with 850s and almost 1800 runs. Known for his cool calm reactions as well as chewing gum when taking wickets, Philander will go down as a gem for South African cricket.